Hello, and welcome back to Radiography Simplified. This is Michael. This is the final official video in our radiobiology series. I must say, I particularly had a lot of fun working on this series. I hope you had a great time, too. And don't worry. If you're watching this, then I am already working on a new Radiography Simplified series. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and like this video to see more like this from us. In this video, we highlight the stochastic effects of radiation. Remember, stochastic effects do not have a threshold dose, and their severity does not depend on dose. However, their probability of occurring increases with dose. Before we go on to highlight stochastic effects of radiation, let's talk about another method of classifying radiation effects. Radiation effects that affect the individual that was exposed are called somatic effects. A somatic effect can be deterministic or stochastic. On the other hand, genetic effects affect the offspring of the individuals exposed to radiation. Genetic effects occur because radiation can cause mutations to the genes of a person. These mutations may go unnoticed for many generations before they eventually pop up. Genetic effects are stochastic. Now, we highlight stochastic effects. A good starting point would be the genetic effects that we just spoke about. Examples of genetic effects that can occur as a result of radiation exposure include genetic disorders such as hemophilia, Down syndrome, and cystic fibrosis. Remember, genetic effects are not expressed in the exposed individual. They may stay hidden for generations. Another common stochastic effect of radiation is radiation-induced malignancy. One common example would be leukemia. Leukemia is a form of malignancy which involves blood-forming tissues, such as the bone marrow. It causes compromised immunity to infection. Leukemia has been observed in individuals that received radiation. Other radiation-induced malignancies include thyroid cancers, prostate cancer, among others. There we go. We have come to the end of the series on radiation biology. I hope you now have a better understanding on the cool radiation biology concepts like LET, Bergoni, and Tribondo, and many more. Feel free to go over any videos you feel you haven't grasped fully. Remember to subscribe if you have not for notifications on new videos. I'll head back to working on more new content. Until then, stay safe and take care.